What's good sunshines and welcome back to my channel. So while I'd hoped this would be a fully furnished tour, unfortunately you're just gonna have to make do with me sharing my favorite pieces with you guys. So I didn't realize that when you order furniture, it can take months, it can take a long time. So right now we have a lot of our statement pieces, like the main parts of the house that we want, but we're missing quite a few of the accent, you know, like vases, some paintings, things like that. So yeah, today I'm gonna to show you though the most important parts, so don't worry. <laughs> so our house is uh, the famous modern Mediterranean. So the inside is very modern. We have a lot of brass, we have a lot of black, we have black and white paintings going on. There's also like a Mediterranean feel with some of the paintings, some of the sculptures, and some just like little details on the mirrors as well. So you'll really see that kind of like come together. Um, but yeah, like interior is, it's just a passion of mine. We've done this without an interior designer. So we really wanted to bring my vision and Sim's vision and combine it all. And yeah, I think we're getting there, guys. We are getting there. I mean, you be the judge today, <laughs> but um, we're loving it. It's starting to feel so much just like home now and it feels good. All right, guys, let's get right into it. Okay, so starting off in our entryway, we have these two accent chairs. I just love how simple these look. I mean, I was a little concerned with the color um, and the material. I don't know if you can kind of tell, but it's the type of material that will get ruined easily. But I figured, because they're in the entryway, um, yeah, people won't really sit on them that much. Maybe that's unrealistic, I don't know, but I love the way they look anyway. And right here is a marble side table, which is actually really heavy, like super solid. And I bought this little decor just to plonk on top. Don't know how much I love it yet, um, but for now I feel like it just complements the painting we have on top of it. And these lights are really cool. Obviously it's daytime, so you're not really gonna be able to see, but the way they light up just looks amazing in the evening. coming in to the living room I'm always cold in the evening so I always just have a little blanket on the side now I have a funny story about this sofa so I actually ordered a sofa that was this color I received these first and I was like okay it's not going to work so I had to return the sofa and I bought this shade which is extremely dog and I'm sure kid friendly um, dark gray wasn't the aesthetics or the look I was going for beforehand, but I have to say I am so glad we exchanged it because yeah, that color, it would have been absolutely destroyed. <laughs> and I've just realized my rug looks a little funny. We have a um, robot Hoover and it's so noisy. So I had to turn it off and I obviously interrupted it because it was Hoovering here and yeah, it didn't finish the job. <laughs> so don't mind the lines. So ignore this, we still have to get a console table, but I love these large kind of like poofs we have as well. Again, very dog friendly. I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's, it's like that boucle, whatever. You know what I mean, bobbly. <laughs> Is that bobbly material? So we have a large one. And we also have a smaller one here as well. Now these chairs are the same as the ones in our entryway. And I love the way it looks behind our bar area. It just really complements it. So this is velvet as well. It is beautiful. And we have a couple signature lamps going on. Going for our whole house, round lights is the theme. <laughs> it is the theme. And we also have one on the side, which matches it. Just there. So you can see a closer look of this sofa as well. This is where we keep the remotes hidden in the drawer. So it's large and what I love about this sofa as well is you can separate it. So this can be separated or this chase side can be separated. So you can style it however you want, but this is a large living area. So we just wanted it to take up, you know, a lot of space. Hence we have additional seating pretty much everywhere so this bar area looked completely different when we moved in and we actually bought these little handles from home depot 
And it's crazy how much the little details just really add up. They just completely make this area and a couple ornaments on the sides. We also changed the tap as well, which is pretty. And it has lights shining down on them. So yeah, I just love the fine details of this area. We've placed quite a few large mirrors kind of dotted around the house um, just because we have so much light coming from this side, but the other side, not so much. And as you know, guys, mirrors reflect light. So yeah, we're just hoping it'll kind of bounce off and brighten up the place. So moving on to the dining area, we have this just amazing painting and that's a subwoofer, <laughs> but it actually looks quite good with the aesthetics. <laughs> but we fell in love with this, like Sim is obsessed with like the universe and space. And this really just reminds us of a black hole. And yeah, it's gorgeous. So coming in to our dining room. So this table we actually had from our last apartment. Um, but I originally purchased it knowing we were going to use it in our forever home. And again, we have the kind of like round detail lights that really just adds the aesthetics. Now you might see a common theme with the chairs we have. They are the same style chairs and it's also in the black velvet, like the same ones in our living room. Now this is just here because <laughs> I like it. Um, it's not to stay. This is more than likely going to go on a pillar, which is going to take up the space here, which is blank right now. So it's just temporarily like this. But this is where we come and have our dinner, um, where no phones are allowed. It's just us talking about our day, which is it's really nice. I think it's important as a family to do that. So coming into the kitchen, we have these really cool shelves that I had so much fun decorating. Uh, I just wanted something that would kind of tie up all of our themes together, you know, the black, the brass, and some earthy tones as well, just for the kitchen. We also have the shelving here. This lights up as well, where I've just added some black pots. And not one to break a theme, we have round lights above our breakfast table, and then also three large ones in the kitchen area. Now, I absolutely love this table here. This is where we have our coffee and also where we have our breakfast as well. The style is just amazing. I've just got this little decor going on top. This is just like for autumn. Um, they smell amazing, like so nice, but I'll switch up as the seasons change. Now, these are temporary chairs. As you can see, they're the same as the ones in our dining room. Um, they're not going to stay, they're just for now until I find something else that I love. But yeah, a cozy little area where we can also see the garden. So this book is actually pretty special. Like I absolutely love it. It's called California Romantica. And honestly, sometimes I just like to flick through the pages. It's so beautiful. And it just gives so much interior and decor vibes. It's kind of like Spanish SoCal vibes. So pretty on trend for our house as well, which I love. So yeah, sometimes I just flick through this, read the little stories and inspiration behind it. And it's really nice. So coming into my office, which I so wish was complete. I can only show you guys a few of my favorite things now, including this absolutely huge and extremely heavy mirror. It is so solid. I wish you could even see the sides of the brass and this kind of like, someone said it looks like Wonder Woman and I kind of see it. So it's very accurate that it's in my office. 
You also have my little man here. Um, I have a pillar that's coming that he will sit on top in the corner to keep an eye on me. But yeah, this is my office, guys. We also added um, these panels, which I love so, so much. It just is everything. It completely makes the room for me and all of the vibes I'm looking for. And I spend most of my day here, so I feel like it's important that I love it and I will. So I can't wait to show you it when it's complete. And this is my office chair, which as you can see, matches everything so perfectly. I was a little nervous about the material. Um, I didn't realize it was this material. So I put some protector on it <laughs> and I'll probably sit on a blanket as well, um, just so I don't start to scuff up these sides. But she's gonna look so gorgeous with my concrete desk once it arrives, once it finally arrives. This is one of my favorite paintings in the whole house. We have so many, but this one I adore. Reason being everything else is very neutral, very light, and this is just erratic. It's crazy. It's got, you know, different dimensions. You can't even tell. And I love that because that's life. <laughs> life isn't perfect. Life isn't one color. It's a whole of splashes. <laughs> so yeah, it's my favorite. Now, my relaxation room is nowhere near complete, but I wanna show you guys some of my favorite chairs. I just couldn't decide what to go with. I wanted something that would be comfortable, slouchy, minimalist, earthy, wood tones. And yeah, came up with these. And this wooden side table as well, which is pretty solid. So this is just going to be one area to have tea or just sit and completely relax. So coming in to the bedroom, now as you can see, Cody has been sleeping on this bed because <laughs> it was nice and smooth before, but anyway, this is real life guys and the bed does get used. So this bed I waited for for absolute months and it did not disappoint. So it is a solid wood frame. As you can see, beautiful chestnut color. And the headboard is kind of like a faux white leather. Now, either side, I wanted these circular lights, which look so nice when they're lit up and the whole thing just looks amazing. Uh, it is a pretty low bed, <laughs> I will say, but it's fine because it's really going to match the kind of Mediterranean feel I'm going for with the bedroom. Now, as you enter the bedroom, you have this bench. I wanted this room to be very slouchy and comfortable. And then above it, we have this art, which looks like this from the side. So it's pretty special and it really matches the theme. Now, ignore the curtains. I have some really nice linen curtains that are coming. Uh, they haven't arrived yet, but I wanted to show you this huge chair. It is so deep and so comfortable in the corner. I didn't really know what to do because I have a door here, <laughs> which leads to my closet. So I couldn't do two chairs. So I just wanted something really slouchy and comfortable in the corner. And it of course matches the bench area as well. This nice statement chair, which probably costs the most out of everything. No, I'm joking. <laughs> And similar to my office, he has the paneling background as well. So I've done a pretty good job. Whose idea was it to do paneling? I'll give it to you, Sim. That was your idea. <laughs> so this is where he spends his days now. I barely see him. <laughs> it's not finished, though. It's still got moss left to add. Mirrors, sofas. Yeah, it's a mirror to go there. Your sofa arrives tomorrow, which will actually be here. Hey, Cody. So this is where you've been. <laughs> you missed the tour. 